What's up guys, this is Sam, and today Apple released iOS 11.2 Beta 3 to developers. It's about a week after iOS 11.2 Beta 2 was released, and as always, we're going to be talking about everything that's new. I went over to the official release notes to see if Apple highlighted any changes that would be taking place in iOS 11.2 Beta 3 like they have in previous betas, and the only thing that I noticed that changed was that a line under podcast was rewritten to say the same thing but in a different way, which doesn't make a lot of sense, so they weren't able to highlight any any new changes for us there. However, I went over to Reddit and checked for some changes on the r slash iOS beta subreddit and noticed that if you go into control center and disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, the toggle is going to turn white for a second. You get some new messages up at the top of your screen and the first time you disable these after they have been enabled, you get this pop-up detailing a little bit more about what this means when you disable Wi-Fi or Bluetooth from Control Center. So if you didn't know already, in iOS 11, Apple tweaked the way that disabling Wi-Fi and Bluetooth from Control Center worked. So for example, when you disable Wi-Fi in Control Center, you're not completely disabling it, you're just disconnecting for your Wi-Fi network. And now in iOS 11.2, it says this, disconnecting nearby Wi-Fi until tomorrow. The current Wi-Fi network and others nearby will be disconnected until tomorrow. Wi-Fi will continue to be available for airdrop, personal hotspot, and location accuracy. And when you disable Bluetooth, you get a similar message. It's not completely disabling everything. It says disconnecting Bluetooth accessories until tomorrow. Currently connected accessories will be disconnected and other accessories will not connect. Bluetooth will continue to be available for Apple Watch, Apple Pencil, Personal Hotspot, and handoff. Now it's interesting that it mentions Apple Pencil on the iPhone 10. That's probably just a bug right now, or there's also the slight possibility that Apple Pencil support could be coming to the iPhone 10 at some point in the future, but for now that seems pretty unlikely. Now on top of that, the only other thing that I've noticed in iOS 11.2 Beta 3 so far is that my iPhone 10 feels ridiculously fast. Faster than iOS 11.2 Beta 1 and 2, faster than iOS 11.1. So I went over to Geekbench to see if there were some hard results behind this device device feeling faster, and it turns out that there seriously are some improvements in this beta. I got a multi-core score of 10,434, which is the highest score I've ever gotten on an iOS device to date, and for the single core score, 4,235. If you compare that to the average for the iPhone 10, the multi-core is 10,040, and the single core score is 4,195. So both the single and multi-core scores on my iPhone 10, running iOS 11.2 beta 3, are higher than I've ever gotten on an older firmware or beta. So if you're running iOS 11.2 beta 3, let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment down below. And if you're excited for the final release at some point in the future. As of right now, there is no finalized or set release date for this update, but with Apple Pay Cash included in here, new wallpapers for the iPhone 10, and a couple of other changes, it's shaping up to be a pretty solid update and add performance improvements and really good battery life on top of that. And it's gonna be a great update. So if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, it does help me out. If you take just a second to drop a like down below and of course hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I've also got new merch out if you guys are interested in supporting the channel and getting a shirt. Anyway, I've been Sam. I hope you're doing great and I'll talk to you in my next video.